Color for next week, February 6 to 10. Predict which Westburn name will be mentioned quite a lot this week. Because bridge memorial service will be held and one of them, Brad Cooper will fulfill some of bridge wishes. Because Breach was Breach's past friend and before she died, Breach wanted Brad and Maxie Jones to be best friends. Liesl, a bridge will understand the worries and difficulty that Nina Ribs is facing. Liesl knows how important motherhood is, so Liesl doesn't want Nina to get this courage and give up the chance to connect with Willow Tate. In fact, Willow did not want to accept her birth mother. Liesl will make a visit to Willow with the aim for persuading Willow to rethink her previous decision. Nina will prepare a gift and want Liesl to give it to Willow. It looked like a half-heart necklace. Willow will have signed it a little before accepting it. Even Willow may refuse to accept this meaningful gift. Laura Collins does not want Nicholas Cassidy and Spencer Cassidy relationship to continue to be strained. So Laura will beg her grandson to keep Nicholas' confession video a secret. Laura argues that Laura herself now has only one son left and that Laura does not want to lose this son. Spencer will rethink her grandmother's plea, but Spencer doesn't promise to keep quiet about a secret Spencer has. Because Spencer wants custody, which Spencer believes Nicholas doesn't deserve to have a new baby. Gina Robinson and Victor Cassidy will support Spencer and Spencer can update the truth about Nicholas' video to them. Ava Jerome also tell Laura that she will not help Nicholas, rather than the video admitting as was Nicholas' lie to protect Ava. Only Ava and Nicholas knew it. However, once Esme regains her memory, surely not only Nicholas but Ava could also go to jail. Ava will also become closer to Austin Gatlin Holt, which creates an opportunity for a new couple to form. After that, Austin will have an encounter with his brother Mason Gatlin. Austin advises Mason that it is the best not to touch people Austin cares about, because that will get Mason in trouble with Austin himself. Michael Carento kept his distance from Sonny Carento. Of course, Michael views of Sonny as an enemy continue. Sonny will stubbornly approach and help Michael mentally. Sonny doesn't know that it doesn't make sense and Sonny is considered an outsider. Scott Baldwin received the good news. Lucico is alive and is being protected by Martin Gray somewhere. What Scott was worried about was how to get Lucy back to the PC without Victor noticing. Meanwhile, Elizabeth Bachman devises a new plan to protect herself. Liz knows Nicholas' evil deeds are about to be exposed. And Liz is a part of that story. Liz will meet Helmut and Finn and confess everything in the hope that Finn will help Liz. Curtis Asford and Portia Robinson prepare for their wedding on Valentine's Day. Ironically, their wedding ceremony will be ruined by a big truth. Jordan Asford looks at 
to be the one to ruin this wedding. Jordan will update Marcus' target with some downs.